Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is March 8th of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, I mean, it's not the day challenge, but it's the extra prom that I'm doing. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, RNG, take me to a good problem. And today we have a 25 friends of appropriate ages. A lot of downloads, I don't know why that is, but, uh, but it is a medium prom, so let's get to it. Hope everyone's having a good day. Weekend's here. I'm excited. Uh, the weather's a little bit nice. I um, maybe you could tell from my voice or just my excitement. I have a lot more energy than I did a couple of days ago with the fast. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, there are n persons. Persons. Hmm. So okay, there are n people on a social media website. You're giving an energy away. Ages where ages survive the age of the i person. A person X will not send a friend request to a person Y if any of them. What, what is this? Okay. Ages of Y is some, okay, some formulas. Otherwise, X will send a friend request to Y. Note that if X sends a friend request to Y, Y will not necessarily send a request to X. Also, a person will not send a friend request to themselves. Okay, fair enough. Uh, return the no total number of friend requests made. All right, the first thing I wanted to do is check N, okay, just to make sure that N cannot be, um, what's it? You know, if we could do n square, we'll do n square. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why. Which one? X will send to y. Okay. Will not. Okay. I mean, we have to pause this, but a lot of these are just relative things, right? And each of these we can binary search, so it should be pretty straightforward, to be honest, uh, uh, in terms of idea. I mean, Sometimes code is easy to mess up and stuff like this, but yeah. Uh, so th because we want to find a we want to create a structure from the input, the first thing we're going to do is sorting, and we already kind of have that idea of binary search, so we should sort anyway, right? And then now um, uh, these formulas are like very weird, so let let's kind of paste it here and then rewrite them in um, in a way that we want to get. I don't know. I just like so we want to send x from x to y. So that means that okay. So if this is x, um, this is y, right? Uh, I don't know why they. Kind of, hmm. So x will not send to y. Will not if any of these are true. Okay. Just way weird, to be honest. The way that they phrase it, I mean, the problem. But okay, so I mean, yeah. So we can, if x is, so we can rewrite these as, um, I don't know. Just thinking about it, right? Uh, so let's actually rewrite this one a little bit, right? Because we have x. I mean, you can also do it two ways. You could, I guess, you can. I mean, the way that I was thinking is that for every x. How many requests do does person X send? You can also do it the other way, where for every Y, how many person that uh, how many requests does the person Y get, right? So you could it's sub, in this problem the answer will be symmetric to how you solve that, um, because there's just number of friend requests made as long as you're consistent, right? But I already kind of went up this way, so yeah, we'll do it. Minus seven, and then maybe I should have done it the other way, just so I don't have to. Uh, yeah, and then it's divided by 0.5. I guess that's easier actually. Divided by 0.5 is times 2. Right. What is this? Is this like that weird, um, like dating age thing? Did I make that up? Is it like a plus 7 divided by 2 or something? Like, oh, uh, yeah. What the? What, what is this? What is this problem? This is so weird. Okay, in any case. Uh, Alright, anyway. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of things about this part. But anyway, total is equal to zero. So then for i in range of n. So we want to find. So that means, th so this is will not, right? Um, okay, so this one is, you know, easier in a way. Because now we can bound that right this is just weird or like uh so what i'm f 
Oh, oh sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like a little bit, not weird, but just like, it's a weird way to put it because, um, and I'll explain in a sec, which is that basically this one, and this one kind of overlaps, right? Like, we should not have to worry or care about this one because this one would already be true, right? Because you have this, you know, and you can kind of just, right? Like, so, so we don't have to worry about this one at all. That's why I was like a little bit like, huh, right? And then, okay, and then now maybe I do, I, I made a mistake in kind of doing it this way, but, uh, oops. Right. Or just writing it this way. Um, eh, this is definitely a little bit awkward. Okay, right, fine. I'll just write it this way. So, so something like this, right? So it's the formula that we're looking at. Um, the A to Y part, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. So then we just have to binary search for this part, which is, um, yeah, I mean, we just have to binary search for this part. And I know that we wrote it in a weird way, but that is just, of course, you go to this part. So we can actually just do that, right? Um, and so then now, uh, and I was going to, I thought we had to do like a, you know, two binary search, to be honest, to get a range. But here we don't even have to because it's strictly smaller than, and you have to upper bound being, oh, wait, no, this is the lower bound. Right, because basically when this happens, we don't send it. So I kind of wrote this in a funky way, I think, because it should, instead of N, it should be an OR. So it's either this or this, we don't send. So then we kind of like need a, uh, uh, um, and this one we can, you know, it's easy to kind of do the logic on. But this one, it means that we want something that's at least this number or bigger. Right, because if it's yeah, because if h of y is too low, we don't send it. Yeah, okay. I mean that's not that bad. I mean, okay, so we do have to do the two things, kind of. Um, but should be okay. Um, we have to care about the eco sign, so we have to do okay. So uh, let's just say smaller as you go to ages of i. Um, hmm. The daughter by two is a little bit awkward. That's why I'm like thinking if I should handle it in a good way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We can use fra uh, fractions uh, for this one just because. It shouldn't matter for this one. Uh, mm, that's not true. Uh, maybe I should just, okay. I mean, things get, uh, things do get weird, but divided by two is actually the one case where fractions are fine or like doubles are fine because, because basically when you do of things by two, um, you know, you have a binary number in folding points and doubles notation, you do not have rounding errors because it is not a repeating number it is a whole number in fractions in binary right i don't know if that makes sense but uh but i'm sticking to it <laughs> uh all right so then now we have ages uh we have something like bisect that bisect so we want something that's strictly greater than this so we want to bisect ages by smaller right so index left is you're going to be you know this because that's the start and then index right, um, so you basically just get what index this is. But the thing that we have to do a second binary search on is because um, because you can have tied, right? Like like if two people are the same age, like this one, I think it would be get it wrong for if you just kind of look at previous people you can because um, there may be a, you know, because X may send a message to Y and Y may send a message to X. So you have to be careful about it. But yeah, so then bisect right of ages of ages of I. And then this is going to be the insertion point, I think. 
so yeah so then now total do, 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 index right minus index left and i think that's fine um it's either that or we have to maybe minus one for itself but i think we add one to include the other number so i don't know something like this but yeah so that's why i'm going to give it a spin and then just double check um uh, well, by a lot actually hmm. Uh, hmm. Mm, let's see. This should go from zero to two. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so I guess here we zero is the insertion point, two is. Uh, two is not the index, so then minus one, and then you plus one to include it, but then you minus one for itself. Okay, I think this is more right. But uh, but oh, actually, I guess that was it. I I thought I had to do an extra thing. That's why I want to be careful of this one first. Um. Yeah, and we don't have to care about the other one because it's just. Yeah, I mean it, it's oversee superseded by this one, so I don't know. Let's give it a submit. Maybe I missed a case. Maybe ooh, I did miss a case, huh? I hope I I didn't just I don't know I don't know what I hope to be honest. But uh, all right, let's see. Maybe I should have done this way. I don't know why I would that way. But um, hmm. I mean, the idea should be right, unless I misread some stuff, which is very easy to do, to be frank. Uh, okay, five, we don't send it to anyone. Okay, that's fair. 24, we don't send it to anyone. No, we send it to one person, and that is five? That doesn't seem right, right? Do I... Oh, 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 when this is zero, it's still, okay, fine. I see, I see. I, I kind of, I thought that, hmm. Why would this return, oh, no, one is fine. What is smaller? Smaller is five, two point, oh, because this seven. I, I, I expected index left to be strictly um, less than index right because of this, um, but uh, I, I, I did miss that H minus, because this number for 5 is 9.5, so then that's why you have this thing. Okay, okay, wow, that is a that is a, a sloppy case. I mean, me handling the, or not handling, I guess. It's a sloppy handling of that case. All right, okay, so the idea is right, but I, huh. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is going to be n log n. The loop is O of n, two binary um, searches inside the loop. So log n each, um, O of n log n, and there we have it. Um, I think you can actually do a little bit better, maybe, if you really want to kind of upsolve this, uh, because basically it's kind of like binary search, but it takes advantage of this third constraint that I kind of thought about, but I didn't want to get, I don't know. I don't know if this is kind of cool or not, but uh, so if you, you know, really, if you want to pause the video and try to figure out this other way yourself, you can do that. Uh, but yeah, but basically the other way, and I am not going to do it because I'm lazy, but uh, eh, maybe it's pretty straightforward. But it's the same idea. It's just, you know, instead of using binary search, you can use a prefix sum array to hand, to kind of count the number of things in each age. And because you only have 120 ages, um, you know, it's just one iteration of 120. And then there you, you know, this will be linear time here, plus O of A or whatever, where A is the, um, you know, the bang of ages, for example. Um, and, you know, that that's fine too. I think that's not that bad. And if you didn't do it that way, you know, maybe you can, uh, you, now that you know the answer, it's still worth it to implement yourself from the idea, even though I'm not gonna show you the code for it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think, and yeah. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.